since I have a leftover uh, ripened banana, so I decided to make a banana cake this afternoon. So for the ingredients, we have one cup uh, wheat flour, one cup all-purpose flour, three four cups sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla or banana extract, half teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one stick of butter, one and a half cup of rum. So this is all that I have. Uh, three pieces of banana, mashed banana, but then I have five, so let's make it all useful. And then these are optional, so I have a um, uh, diced walnut, I have an extra mallows and chocolate chips, and I want to try putting in cheese for this banana. Okay, so start baking now. In a large mixing bowl, beat together the butter and the sugar until it's light and fluffy. In one teaspoon of vanilla, in the mashed banana bit and mix it all together. Then mix in all the dry ingredients, the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. Then you can already uh, mix in the walnuts, the chocolate cheese, and marshmallow before we put in the rum. Okay. And then stir the rum into the mixture. So look at that, you know? You have a lot of ingredients that you eat. Five pieces of banana, ripe and banana. You have a marshmallow, you have chocolate chip, and you have one. So, this is already ready to be placed in the pan, baking pan. The good thing in the cream cheese now is that the packaging already has an easy measuring guide. Huh? You will see there uh, two ounces, a line, and then a uh, guide for four ounces, and then six ounces. So, ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your job is going to square, cut into square, okay? Yeah. Okay. So that's one layer, place it into the same square cup of cream cheese, covering the cream cheese with another layer. Okay? So you have the cream cheese here. Yeah. Yeah. This is baked by my sister, Akileng. It's super yummy. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 